bottle is lifted up again on the next machine, where heavy pasteboard caps are pressed into place. These caps are fitted tightly to protect the purity of the milk. Then a protective outer covering is put on. It is made of waxed cardboard and covers the entire top of the bottle. This is fastened on securely as an added safeguard, although it comes off easily when you want to open it. Yes, they are pints of delicious chocolate drink. Here you see them coming from the filler at the rate of about 144 bottles a minute. And here is where the wax fiber containers are filled. Each holds one quart of milk. This machine automatically lifts up each cap, fills the container, seals it, and stamps on the date. As containers leave the machine, each is inspected and placed in a case on a conveyor that takes them to the cold room for delivery to stores early the next morning. Here's where buttermilk is churned. Many people like the old-fashioned churned buttermilk better than any other drink. This is an homogenizing unit. To homogenize grade A milk, the milk is forced under high pressure through tiny holes. This process breaks up or explodes the butterfat globules, mixing them into every drop of milk. The fat, being so evenly divided, cannot rise to the top of the bottle to form a cream layer. Therefore, there is no cream line in a bottle of homogenized milk. This type of milk tastes richer because the cream is evenly distributed throughout the entire bottle of milk. Before the homogenizing process, vitamin D is added so that each quart is fortified with the sunshine vitamin. After dairy products are bottled, they're put in a clean case on a conveyor, which takes them to the cold room. Now let's visit the laboratory. This is the control laboratory. These men and women are highly skilled technicians. They make tests every 15 minutes of the day to make sure that all milk and all other dairy products are up to high standards of purity and richness. So you see there is magic in milk, magic of a kind that you never even thought about, spectacular magic. Just a hat, and a derby one at that. Take a look inside. Oh, there's nothing inside, not a thing. Turn it over. Reach in there, Mr. Cater, and see what you find. I don't know. Oh, it's a chicken. Watch there again. An egg. And another one. Now that's been a mighty busy chicken. Mr. Cater, you can come to our egg department anytime with that chicken. Hold on, young man. Here comes someone to help you. Step right over there. We're afraid he'll drop one. There's that one, and another one, and another. We must handle these eggs with care. Whoops, there went one. Be careful of that one. Whoops, there went another one. Wow, scrambled eggs. Well, Mr. Cater. There went another one. That's an inexhaustible egg supply. Oh, stack them up carefully. There's another one dropping. There's plenty of magic in other dairy products, too. Let's see what particular kind we can discover in eggs. Freshness in eggs is just as important as freshness in milk. The dairy company is just as particular about the quality of eggs as it is about the quality of milk. 
Chickens are allowed to run on the open range until they grow strong and healthy. Later, when they start laying eggs, they're placed in individual pens. Remember how proper feeding helped the cows? Well, proper feeding of chickens helps to control the color of yolk, thickness of shell, and flavor of the egg. A report is kept on each hen's production. She gets accurate credit for the size and amount of eggs she lays during the year. Eggs are gathered from the pens several times a day to make sure that they reach the market in top condition. Eggs may be of several grades and are sorted at the farms according to their weight. Packers sort them correctly and if they're doubtful about any egg, they weigh it on a delicate scale. This is called candling because in the old days it was done by candlelight. Holding the egg against a strong beam of light shows whether it's absolutely fresh and perfect inside the shell. No matter how fresh and perfect the country eggs are supposed to be, your dairy company checks every one before delivery. There is no substitute for butter. Let's see how it's made. Here the butter churn is being filled. Now, of course, butter is a dairy product, and you naturally expect to get it where you get your milk. Butter is made of sweet cream that has been pasteurized and then kept cold until it is put into the churn. Then the doors are fastened up good and tight, an electric motor is turned on, and the churn revolves until butter forms. Then the churn is stopped and the doors are opened. The butter maker checks the butter for proper consistency. Almost everybody likes butter slightly salty, so the butter maker adds just the right amount of salt. Afterwards, the doors are closed and the churn is run a little longer to mix the salt evenly throughout the butter. The butter is then removed from the churn, placed in tubs, and shipped to city plant. Let's go along and see what happens there. Here, absolutely clean, dust-proof, air-conditioned room, a machine cuts the butter into blocks, ready for packaging. Each block weighs exactly a quarter of a pound. No human hands ever come into contact with butter. This automatic machine wraps it in parchment paper. The individual wrapping of each quarter pound of butter protects its flavor and helps the housewife in serving and cooking. After the quarter pounds are wrapped, they are automatically stacked, four to a pound, and a mechanical hand places them in position for sealing into a wax carton to protect freshness and purity. So you see, Butter comes in fresh from country creameries every day and the dairy plants carefully pack it so that it's always fresh when your dairyman delivers it. Now we'll go to a country cheese plant. Cottage cheese is made at country receiving plants and it's a healthful dairy food. Here, pure, fresh, pasteurized milk is placed in a large stainless steel tank. Then cheesemakers add what is called a starter. This ripens the cheese. The starter creates a curd formation, which is broken up by cutting with stainless steel wire knives. This is what cheesemakers call digging a ditch. They cut a ditch the length of the tank to drain off the whey, a liquid that remains after the curd forms.
After the cheese is thoroughly drained and the proper amount of rich cream has been added, it is packed into cans and shipped to the bottling plant. So come along and we'll see what happens there. Cheese jars are washed and sterilized in the same careful way as all glass containers used for dairy products. After inspection, they travel along to the automatic filler. Here, cans of cottage cheese from the country plant are emptied into the stainless steel hopper of the automatic filler. This machine fills jars a good deal like the milk bottling machines. Here, chive cottage cheese is being bottled. It pours in just the right amount and then caps the jars automatically. Cottage cheese goes to the cold room along with milk, cream, buttermilk, chocolate drink, butter and eggs to be ready for delivery the next morning. Everything your dairy company sells must be kept cold to protect its freshness and flavor. That takes ice, lots of it. Pure water is frozen into big 400-pound cakes, removed from the freezing unit, and sent down a chute to the storage room, where it stays until it's needed. The large cakes go through an ice crusher, and the crushed ice goes to a bin near the loading platform. Remember, milk is almost ice cold when it's bottled, and packing it with crushed ice keeps it cold right up to the time it's delivered. Every day, each piece of plant equipment is scrubbed with cleaning solutions and rinsed with boiling water. Every piece of dairy equipment has to be taken apart and thoroughly washed and sterilized. Hot steam is used to sterilize the pasteurizers and all pipes that supply milk to tanks and bottle fillers. Each morning, your dairy's delivery fleet lines up alongside the distributing plant. The salesmen have placed their orders the night before, and their dairy products are waiting for them on the conveyor. Large trucks deliver dairy products to stores and other wholesale users. Neighborhood grocery and delicatessen stores in every part of the city receive fresh milk and other fresh dairy products for their customers every day. Other large trucks delivered to the many hospitals throughout the city, every day, right on time. And each morning, on every street, smaller trucks stop at your homes, bringing vital, healthful food, milk, and other dairy products for all members of your family. You bet there's magic in dairy products. They make strong bodies so that you may enjoy work and play. What's that you're doing, Mr. Cater? Why, it's beginning to look like... Yes, it is. It's a red paper hat, and it could be one of those fancy French creations. You surely could go to a party in that. And then more magic. 
and the little girl is gone. A wave of the mythic wand, and the little boy is gone. And then what else can Mr. Cater do? <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Cater. It's been a great show, and we appreciate your being with us.